Hello, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com. We're the creators of the multi-theme. In this video, we're going to talk about the product comparison feature that this theme offers. We feel like this is a pretty unique section that you can't really find in any other themes. Usually you would have to download a third-party app and pay monthly for this, so we think it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check it out. So first of all, I've got this custom version of a theme that I'm going to edit down here. I'm just going to click customize and I'm going to go to a product page and you may notice in your sections over here that you have a section called compare products in this case I have it broken because it's not connected properly to dynamic sources but we'll work through that and so nothing will show here until you actually specify some products to compare so even if you add this section, if you're noticing that no products are appearing, then you need to populate them first. So as a starting point, we're just going to go ahead and select some products here. I'm just going to choose from this list, select them, and now it will appear. So you can see there's some different criteria over here on the left that we've set up with blocks, and I will run through how to set up what is going to show in this table here in a little bit, but first I'm going to show you some different ways to select the products. So if we select the products this way where we just choose these products and save, that's great, except these same products will appear on all of your product pages. So whatever product you're currently viewing will show as the first product, and then these products that you've selected will show as the comparison for everything else. So this works well if you only, say, have a few products in your catalog and you're going to want to compare those to whatever product you're on at all times. And that will work fine and you could be done right here. Just click Save and then you could edit these and I'll show you how to do that in a little while. But I would assume that for most people you're going to have more products and you're going to want to have different products showing here to compare with your main product. So we're going to show you two different ways to set this up using meta fields. So the first way is we'll just exit out of here and we're going to go to settings, custom data, products, and then I'm just going to add a definition called comparison products. And for the type, I'm going to choose product list of products and save that. So once that's done, I can close out of here. I can go to my products. I'm going to choose this 11 inch tablet. I'm going to scroll down and I'll see a new meta field in here called comparison products. Click on here. I can choose the products that I want. So let's say I want to actually let's choose something further down just so we can see it. So we've got a mouse, a full HD camera, a cooler and a gaming headset. Add those and save. So now that I've selected the products that I want to use to compare for this product in that meta field, I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to refresh this just because sometimes it takes a minute for the meta fields to kick in. I'm going to go back down to this comparison, compare product section. I'm going to fix this and I'm going to replace it. Now, actually what I'll do, let me just uh, remove this. And now instead of selecting products where I just choose from this list here, I'm going to click this little icon called Connect Dynamic Source. I'm going to choose this comparison products list that I've just created. And you can see we now have the mouse, the camera, the cooler, and the headset showing here from the meta field. So that's one other way to do it. We can save that and we're good. Now there's one final method that I'll talk about that uses meta objects, which is basically just a grouping of meta fields. And this would be useful if, for example, you want to create a group of products that you will reuse as comparisons for multiple products. So you don't have to go through and select each of the individual products each time. So in order to do that, I'm again going to exit out of here. Actually, I'll stay. I want to open this in a new tab. I'm going to go to Settings, 
and I'm going to go to custom data. Instead of choosing products here, I'm going to scroll down and add a definition under meta objects. So I'm just going to give this a name, compare this in product collection. Again, these names don't matter too much. They're just for your own use. Now I'll add a field. I'm going to choose product, list of products, and add that. We'll just name this product compare. Uh, product comparison listing. Add that. I will save. And now back in custom data, we're going to go to products, add a definition. We're going to call this comparison products group. Now we're going to select type and we're going to choose the meta object we just created. So meta object, it's going to be this comparison product collection that I just created. And then I'm going to save this. So I'll close that. Now I'm going to go to content meta objects. Now I'm going to add an entry and it's going to show up here in my list that I just created, Comparison Product Collection. Click that. Now I'm going to click in here and choose the products that are going to be in this grouping. So just so it's easy to tell that I've chosen some different products, I'm going to choose this 27 inch monitor, 32 inch TV, and the 48 megapixel camera. So we'll add that. Save that. So we're all done creating the meta fields and the meta objects. Now we're going to go back to products. I'm going to click on my 11 inch tablet again. And we've got this new comparison products group. I'm going to click in here, click select entry, and now I can just choose this comparison product collection meta objects that I created and save that. So it's got that listing of products stored in there. So now back in the theme settings again, I'm going to, again, I'm going to refresh this just to give it a second to kick in. I'm going to go down to this compare products. I'm going to change this, replace it. And there's our comparison products group meta object. Now I will choose our product comparison listing and there's the products. So now you can reuse this grouping of products on multiple pages following these same steps. So you only have to create the meta object once and add the listing of products as I've shown you. And then you can reuse that on multiple products so you don't have to go in and select the listing each time. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go in and figure out how we populate this table. So you can see under compare products here, we have price, rating, and brand blocks. So the price will obviously automatically pull in the price of whatever product we're looking at. The rating will obviously pull in the rating from your reviews app for any product we're looking at. And the vendor obviously pulls in the brand, the vendor of any product that we have here. So as long as you've filled in the vendor field on each of these products, it will show here automatically. If we add blocks, you can see that there are some different options here. We can show the availability if we like. And again, this is going to be pulled automatically based on your inventory levels. And we've got variant options. So if we click that, you can type in an option name and then you can choose from these different options. And the final option here is a meta field. So you could add a custom field over here. If we click on that, we see some options over here. We can give it a label. Let's just call it screen resolution. And now under this meta field namespace and key, we need to put in the namespace and key. So I'm going to go back to over here to settings, custom data, products. And in this case, we're going to use this screen resolution text meta field we've already created. 
So you can see that the namespace and key is right here in this value. So you can copy this. So it's custom.screen underscore resolution underscore text. Just copy that, go back over here and paste it in. And now it will show up. So you see that these other three don't have it. And that's because if we go to these other products, let's go ahead and open this 27 inch desktop monitor product in here. So if we go to products, 27 inch desktop monitor, and we scroll down to the meta fields, you can see that the screen resolution text is not filled in. Let's just put something random in here, like random text. Save that. Now, if we go back over here, I'm gonna just save this. Hopefully it will populate. Might take a second, there it is. So that's a way to use a custom field. So I believe that covers everything. Now you can add additional blocks so you can have multiple meta fields on here if you like, and you can have all custom data in here. You just have to go in and populate it in the custom data area of the Shopify settings. So I hope that's helpful and you can make use of this great section. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to our support team. We'd be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.